Welcome back to the vlog. Mike and I are going to a wine tasting event. I'm very excited. However, it is literally pouring outside and it is so disgusting. And I don't have a long time to get ready. I have two hours, which may sound like a lot, but it takes me a long time to do anything. So let me, let me get this together. The weather is so terrible, I apologize if you can hear the rain and the planes and it's just, it's a noisy neighborhood. It could be worse, but I'm gonna wear Gucci tonight, Gucci bamboo, cause you know what? I got ready like it's date night because it is date night. I like to wear things that I get from Rent the Runway because I pay for Rent the Runway and I have not worn this shirt and I can't say that I love this shirt, but I haven't worn it. So, you know, I mean, I pay for it, so I should wear it. And maybe it'll look better than I, I'm thinking it's gonna look on. Kind of giving me like that game that you played as kids with the parachute, what was that? You all put the parachute up and then you sat underneath it. It's kind of giving me like that vibe, the matte vibe, the parachute vibe. I don't know. I mean, we could do it. We could do it. It's not like terrible. I just don't know if it really like fits my chest very well. Thoughts? But my other option was I was gonna wear a blazer with like a blouse underneath. This is cute. I showed you this in my last vlog. Very spring, gives spring vibes. But I feel like I wear a blazer and a blouse every day to work with like slacks and it's date night. I feel like I need to wear something a little bit more feminine. Not saying that, you know, one is right and one is wrong. Like I would totally wear, I wore a blazer out last weekend, okay? So I love a good menswear vibe on women and that can totally be sexy or not. You'd be whatever you wanna be. I get in very different moods. That was the mood last weekend. I would wear this, but I feel like we're going wine tasting and Mike and I have been to so many wine fests together that I feel like it's like a proper date night. But I also wanna wear a red lip. Does this, could you wear a red lip with this? You know, like when you're getting dressed and your hair's not done and your makeup's not done and you just, you don't know because you can't imagine it. That's where I'm at right now. I feel like I look like a guinea pig at the moment. I don't know why, but I mean, this lighting is so much better. Yeah, that's so much better. I don't know. What do we think? And like, I have to wear flats because of my hip and because I think we're going to walk and because it's raining. So all factors I need to consider. I'm thinking like Converse, but like, I don't think Converse go with this. I don't have shoes that I'm like willing to ruin in the rain. They're all suede. Like this damn bag that I literally haven't been able to take out because it literally rains every weekend. One of my subscribers named her. Her name is Olive. It is official. Thank you, my friend. I love it. Very fitting. It's super cute. Except it would be cuter if I could wear it out, but I can't because it's raining. Or like I could wear these and get these wet. But again, they're healed and that might hurt my hip. But let's just see for giggles. Let's see what this looks like. I feel like this is giving Olive from the 70s vibes. I could kind of dig it. Not bad, maybe with a belt. My Louis belt, because it's the only brown belt I have. Louis side or plain side? Plain side for sure. What I like about this monogram belt is that sometimes when I wear a top and shoes that don't really go well together, like it's like, just a little off. If I put this on, it kind of makes it all blend together. This is not one of those outfits though. Wow, get ready with me for wine fest. Except you can't see my face, I'm so sorry. I've decided I need to do my hair and I need to do my makeup before I can decide what the hell I'm wearing because I like this top, but I'm struggling to enjoy the look because I think I just look pale and 
Ratchet, you wanna know something funny? This morning, Mike was ironing his clothes and I was in the other room talking to him, keeping him company. And I told him that he looked pale. And you know what he said? You know what he had the audacity to say? Yesterday when I went to physical therapy, I go to physical therapy where he goes to the gym. It was my last physical therapy session for now, but fingers crossed forever. I will miss my physical therapist though. Linda, if you're out there, heart you. Like seriously, I really, really love my physical therapist. I was sad yesterday leaving because I'm gonna miss her. Like I see her twice a week and the whole time her and I just like chit chat. And I feel like she would get along really well with my mom and my Aunt Debbie. I just feel like they would vibe, the three of them. But anyway, I digress. Love me some Linda. My husband goes to the gym that I go to PT at and he was working out. And at PT, I have to wear shorts because my physical therapist like uses these crazy tools. The first time that she brought them out. They looked like torture contraptions and I'm not, contraptions? We all know I can't talk here. It, well, it felt like torture because it was so painful the first time that she did it. But anyway, what was I saying? I was saying that I have to wear shorts in order for her to massage my leg, thigh, hip. I was in the gym in shorts. So when I told him this morning, like, are you good? You kind of look pale. He said, like, you should talk. I was behind you while you were on elliptical at physical therapy yesterday and your legs were ghostly. How rude. I know, I'm pale, I can't help it. And my husband has olive skin. Again, the men are annoying. They just get everything that we want, whatever. I'm translucent and I embrace it. However, now that he said that to me, I feel like I need to self tan before I, you know, maybe for the spring, maybe for Napa. I wanna do an experiment because in my last makeup video, I said that if given the option, I would always choose a brush over a sponge. And I agree with that statement wholeheartedly because I can't remember the last time I used a beauty blender. Although this one looks like I just used it. I just cleaned it and it's disgusting. I usually take them on vacation and we're going on vacation soon. So I figured we'd get reacquainted with the beauty blender together because again, I'm gonna take her on vacation. And also I kind of felt offensive when I said like, I hate a beauty blender. Not that I hate them. I just don't gravitate towards them. So we're gonna mix it up today. I'm gonna try and remember what it's like to get ready with a beauty blender. This is actually an Araceli sponge. So it's not a beauty blender. So I'm a little bit cheating on you, but these are really good. This is the only sponge I will use aside from an actual beauty blender. Araceli makes really good makeup products. I actually worked with them quite a few times and I would love to work with them again because I use their brow pencil all the time. I'm enjoying how this is going on and a sponge I feel like sponge season might be upon us. Mm, maybe that's what it is. Like I love a brush regardless of the season, but I think I use beauty blenders more in the warmer months. I might just be making that up, honestly. Make this a little bit brighter. I feel like that might be too bright. I don't know though. Can you see me? The lighting guys, I need a light person. Someone to help me with the lights. Is this better or is this like too artificial? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's better for me because I can actually see what I'm doing now. And I don't know if you could see, but I feel like sponges kind of leave texture on my skin. Like I feel like they make my pores pop out a little bit more than a brush does. I do not stand corrected. I think I like a brush better than I like a sponge. Anyway, let's chit chat, let's talk. So I was looking at pictures of myself from like 2014, 2015, 2016. Like I was just deep in the photos. <laughs> on my iPhone yesterday on the way home. No, two days ago on the way home from the office. And I just look at that young girl and I feel like she had no idea what was coming. The naivety of her was just so intriguing. And I really feel like before my dad got sick, I really felt like I was more, I always had anxiety, yes, but I feel like I was more free spirited at the same time. And I was looking at pictures of myself and I was like, wow, you can tell, like I was just such a different person in my 20s. And like, I feel like I look at pictures of myself now and I'm like, that is a woman that has lived. And I don't mean that in like an endearing way. And that's not nice. I do normally try my best to talk nicely to myself, even though we all know I struggle to do that a lot more than I'm willing to admit, but not 
in the, mm, actually, yeah, I, I do. I am very judgmental on the way that I look too. We talk about my eyebrows. I don't know who I'm trying to kid here. I'm just hard on myself all the time. But I feel like I used to be more free spirited. Like I feel like I used to feel more, but not even comfortable in my skin. I can't explain it. Anybody else around my age, I'm gonna be 33. I'm just shocked that I'm gonna be 33 years old. Where did the time go? And it doesn't feel like my birthday. And I'm gonna tell you now, today is the 23rd of March. So my birthday is not next week, it's in two weeks, okay? I felt the birthday blues set in today because it doesn't feel like my birthday. It just feels sad. Anyone else, how do you feel around your birthday? I used to feel excited and now it's just like a little depressing. I really need to talk to someone. I just keep saying it, eventually I'll do it, I know. I'm gonna use this NARS, I don't know why. I feel like I don't wanna stick my blender in here, but I don't know. I'm just doing it like everybody else that uses a, a blender. I just feel like we do this. We're just like quick. It's go in, go out. But yeah, so I was looking at these photos of myself and I just looked like, obviously I looked younger, but I just can't explain to you. Like, I feel like my personality really like poked through in them. And I feel like I used to be more of a laid back person, more like hippie vibes. That was really me. It's kind of just like, everything's gonna be all right. We can't control it, but we just gotta go along with it. Like that used to be me. And sometimes I'm like that, but nine out of 10 times, I'm not like that anymore. I'm kind of just like a nervous wreck. And I keep thinking like, what's gonna happen next? Do you know? I feel like this is like this stage of grief that I'm in. Sad. And also I get this weird feeling sometimes, anyone else relate that has lost someone close to them. Like I'm gonna see my dad. And I think that that's why I got so upset today because I was working out and I just had this moment where I felt like I was driving home to my parents' house. It was like I had deja vu, but it was in the moment I was living. Does that make sense? So I had this feeling that I was working out to go shower, to get ready, to go to my parents, to see my mom and my dad. And I had this feeling like, oh, I'm gonna go see my dad, but my dad's dead. So I'm not gonna go see him, but it's so weird. And I can't explain this to you, but it happens to me often where it's like, I don't know if my dad's with me and I like feel his presence. So that's why I feel like, oh, like I'm gonna go see him. Like I, I can't explain to you. It's almost like I feel him here. And I hope that that's not like wacky. I don't think it's wacky. I just, I can't explain it. You know, I've lost people in my life. I was really close with my grandpa. I'm gonna use this because why not? I feel like maybe with a sponge, why am I showing you the plate? I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury beauty wand because I really don't like it. So much comes out of it and I feel like you just waste it and it's so expensive, but anywho. And then I always end up using a lot. What was I saying? Oh, I feel like this is a good color with this shirt. Yes. I lost my grandpa and it was very hard for me, but I just feel like my dad is like a whole different level. Like I always liked to believe that my grandpa was with me, but I never really like felt my grandfather's presence. I've had dreams about him, like very vivid dreams. So I do feel like he's like come to visit me in my sleep, you know, in your dreams. Cause I feel like that actually happens. I feel like you visit them in your subconscious. I actually feel like my dad is with me. Like there are some days where I can't, it's just a feeling. And I know I keep saying the same thing, so I'll move on. But I got a little emotion today because I had that feeling. I just can't believe I'm gonna be 33 and I feel like my dad's not here and I'm 33 years old. And again, not that we made my birthday like a huge deal, but we did. Like I was looking at pictures of like birthday parties with my dad in it. It's just like sad and that my dad's not gonna be here and it's my birthday. It's just like another year gone by where my dad's not here. So weird, like my dad didn't know me as a 32 year old and he's not gonna know me as a 33 year old. And that's like some deep shit, you know? But I just really want to say thank you guys because I feel like these are very healing for me, like our chats. It's hard for me to talk about these things in real life. I feel like I hold a lot of, a lot of anger and like resentment sometimes. But when I'm just talking to you, I just feel like I'm talking to a friend and it's gonna be all right, you know? In my 20s, I cared a lot about how I looked weight, like body wise. And I look at these pictures of me guys, and I'm not kidding you. It is what they say. Like I look at these pictures of me when I was in my 20s and I was thin. But let me tell you something, that entire lifespan, the 10 years, even when I was a teenager, I was thin too. Like I look at pictures of myself and I was thin. I didn't think I was thin then. Like I didn't believe that. So like right now, when I watch back this footage to edit it, I'm gonna think that I'm ugly. And I'm gonna remind myself that you are gonna look back at this footage and say, oh my God, that sweet girl. She was so much better than she thought she was. Growing up is weird. 
adulting is a strange thing. I don't like my makeup on with a sponge. I like a brush so much better. Who has, who has listened to the new Casey Musgrave, Musgraves album? We talked about it. We talked about it. I was excited about it. I really like the song Deeper Well, which is what the album is named after. That's a single. I really like that song. And I have to say, I do like the album, but I'm also this person where I need to listen to an album a few times. I say this all the time. I love Lana Del Rey. I've been such a Lana Del Rey fan forever, okay? Like in 2013, when Lana came out with, was it National Anthem? Was that the name of the album? I'm not good at album names, but let me tell you, I know all the words to every song. When she came out with that, I fell in love with her and I've loved every single Lana Del Rey album. She came out with Norman Rockwell and I gotta say, very different than all of her other albums. And if you're a Lana fan, you know. Lana Stan, you know. And I wasn't here for it like the first couple times that I listened to the CD. Can I tell you the CD? Wow, your age is really showing. <laughs> Cause I listened to it on Spotify, the album whoa anyone else though like what were some of your like cds that you remember like growing up if you grew up with cds like britney spears and michael jackson which i hate to even say that because michael jackson is problematic but those are the two cds that i had on my cassette player that i would listen to all the time in my room also ryan cabrera that i didn't listen to in the stereo speaker and that i listened to on a literal like walkman like you know that thing that you put the cd in and you saw the cd spinning because it was clear over top what is that called is that called a Walkman? I don't know. So I'm listening to Casey. I like Casey, but I feel like I need to listen to it a few more times to like really fall in love with it is really what I'm saying. Have you listened to it? What are your thoughts? I didn't really like the song Cardinal, which is the first song on her album, but it's grown on me. It's got a catchy like tune. This is the thing. It's just not Casey Musgraves vibes. Although it kind of is, I don't know. I like Casey though, cause she's different. I think her music, is innovative. So Mike and I have been to, I want to say like four or five wine fests in the span of our dating history. Okay. And now that we're married, so, you know, just history together, I guess. And it's always a good time, but Mike kind of shot on the good time last night when we were out to dinner. I was like, aren't you so excited to go? And he was like, not really though. We're going to Napa and the wines in Napa are definitely better. And so I'm not gonna lie to you this morning. I shouldn't let what he says affect me, but I do because I am codependent on him. You know, we're self-aware here, at least we're that. But now I'm like a little upset because I feel like snooty, like it's snooty. But yeah, I don't think the wine's gonna be that good. But I didn't ever think it was gonna be that good. It's not like he needed to bring that to my awareness, no offense, but I was just excited to go and spend the time. Him and I have been to so many wine fests that it's like a throwback to when we were dating and like, what? Senjor, romance. We used to look forward to going and spending time together and I get it. Now we live together and him and I can just drink wine at home. I get it, I get it. But like, I'm not kidding you when I tell you that today I took an everything shower, okay? And it was like an everything shower that I used to do when him and I were dating. And I knew I saw him once a week, okay? Like that's the kind of shower that we took. And that's the kind of effort I'm putting forth for today because I would love to wear a big old baggy blazer and not this top that's driving me crazy. But I feel like he will like it. And if he doesn't like it, I don't know what to say to him. What love am I gonna wear? I don't know. When in doubt, Max stripped down for sure. Oh, my lips look crusty AF. Need a bit more bronzer, I think, too. And blush. Let's do that real quick. Look a little less translucent. Yes. I think it's between these two, honestly. This is nyx and own it and the dark one in cinematic red by charlotte tilbury i don't know i thought like a brighter one would look better with this outfit but i think the darker ones look better and i don't know why i'm leaning towards nyx let's try it let's go with our gut oh that's good yeah you know what i wish they had at these wine festivals though I wish they, not just at wine festivals, but just in general, I wish that they invented like a mint that you could put in your mouth that gets rid of the wine stain on your teeth and on your lips because it kills any vibe. And this lip, wow, okay.
of when the planets collide. And we got both. I really like this. Mike did not think that the blazer was gonna go with the top, but we pulled it together. And I'm wearing Converse. I was gonna wear boots, but we're walking and then I'm gonna be standing the whole time and I'm trying to fix the hip. Thoughts. Figured I'd hide my hair in my jacket because it's pouring outside. Figured I'd try and save it as much as possible. Plus it's a vibe, you know? Chic. But let's see what it looks like unpulled. Mm. I feel like Avril Lavigne, honestly. I just need a choker. And then just call me Avril. I was looking for my water. I am doing such a bad job of drinking water. So this is your PSA. If you've been crap like me, have a glass, especially because we're going to this wine tasting and I'm just gonna drink alcohol. So I need to chug this with a straw because God forbid I ruin this lip that I worked very hard, very hard to perfect. It is like pouring outside. Actually, it stopped raining. It was like pouring. I need to show you the lake that is our neighbor's yard, but hopefully it's not gonna rain so we can walk over there in peace without umbrellas. But let me show you our neighbor's yard because, oh my God, it's like really bad. Do you see that? It's like Lake Michigan in their backyard, which is terrible. It's so terrible. That's how much it's rained. I feel like I'm slowly but surely making this a handbag community. So I feel the need to talk about every single handbag that I wear. But this is also a handbag that has accompanied me to Italy. It's been to Europe. I think every time I've went, this is Valentina and she's like a really pretty color. But again, the rock studs, I always wear them more in the spring and the summer. I don't know what it is. She's like a crossbody that's like fancier. I don't know. I don't love crossbodies because I just feel like they're very like casual looking. Not that casual is bad. I'm the queen of casual, but I just don't like love crossbody. But this is like the best crossbody I've ever owned. It's small, it's simple, and it doesn't like add too much bulk. You know, the blazer is from Rent the Runway. I think it's from Rails. The top, definitely from Rent the Runway. I don't remember where it's from. Jeans are my Hudson jeans that you see all the time. My Converse sneakers that I have lived in since hurting my hip. The lipstick is Own It. The lip liner is from 1999. I will put all the information down below. And I don't mean to toot my own horn, but guys, my skin, I know I said, I don't like the Beauty Blender. I don't, I like a brush better. I just feel like my skin is doing amazingly since I had that hydrofacial. If you're interested in getting the hydrofacial, let me know. And I will give you more details than I've already given you and I will give you the name of the place that I went. A part of me like really wants to gatekeep and not share that information, but I do know that quite a few of you are from New Jersey. So you might benefit, my fellow Jerseyans. And you know, you're my people, so. I feel like I can't gatekeep from you. You had to see me upstairs. Ask Mike, I was very stressed out. I was very stressed out about my outfit. I couldn't figure out what to wear with the shirt. I tried on a bunch of different pairs of pants just to come back to the pair of jeans that I had on from the beginning. Don't we all love that when that happens? And then I didn't know what bag to wear. So, and you know my bag collection, it's literally all industrial bags. I took out every single handbag, tried it on with the outfit came up with this and I have to say to you, I feel very hyper. I really need a glass of wine, I think to mellow me out. But I have to say to you that my husband has a lot of clothes and I personally find him to be, hello trash bin and mop. I personally find him to be one of the most fashionable people I know. I like to pride myself in thinking that I'm fashionable. I did have a, fla a, flashin, a fashion blog for quite a bit, but I feel like I'm not like as fashionable as him. And I feel like, you know what it is? I pick out fun pieces like this. And that was always my problem with my wardrobe. I would always pick out outlandish pieces. Not that this is outlandish, but like statement pieces and they don't really go together. So that is why I love Rent the Runway because I can rent this and send this back. So it's like, you know, people will remember this outfit but it's okay because I'm sending it back and I'm not gonna wear it again. I took this blazer out and was like, what do we think about this blazer? And we all knew what he was gonna think about the blazer because I told you what he was gonna think about the blazer. He was like, that does not go. When I put it on, he goes, wow, it actually goes better than I thought. I took this bag out. He said, that's not gonna go. I put the bag on and he said, wow, that actually does go. 
So clearly I know what I'm talking about. And clearly this is a bomb outfit and he looks good too. I think we're gonna leave soon. My physical therapist actually might be at Winefest. However, she told me there might be a reason why she might not be able to come, but I'm really hoping to see her because I love her, Linda. I love me some Linda. And then I know some of the other physical therapists at the practice, they were all going together. So it'll be nice to see them if they're there. And I hope that the wine's good, but if it's not, it's more about the company and it's misting like crazy now. So should be fun, should be fun. You look like a cowboy with that walk. You look like a cowboy. Yeah. Get off the horse. Yeah, you look like you just got off a horse. I'm in vibing mode, vlogging mode. You're vibing mode, vlogging mode, thank God. Yeah, v &V. He's happy to be here. All of my friends that shit on me the other day. The best thing so far. Cheers. Overall, what did we think about Wine Fest? It was kind of shitty, but I'm glad we went. It wasn't like the other Wine Fests we've been to. And I'm still sober, which I'm very thankful for, but it's weird for me. I'm thankful that I'm so sober and also kind of shocked. But honestly, a lot of those wines were terrible and I didn't drink them. I don't think I've ever dumped so many wines in my life, but oh well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? My lipstick held up really well though. I'm excited for my jammas. Freshy. Freshy. I love you. This is an entertaining angle for me. <sighs> me and Betty just had an experience. I just picked up lunch. Oh my God, here we go. And that's what I get for being an angry bird. I just ripped the bag. Just picked up lunch for me, my mom, and my brother. <laughs> I'm eating a bagel because my God, I need carbs after that drive. But I went to Nordstrom. At least I tried to go to Nordstrom and return a bunch of shit for Michael because he gave me this, do you see this box back here? This huge box right here. You see that? Okay, Michael, I love you. No offense. He gave me this big ass box and then a random shoe box and was like, can you return these to Nordstrom? Sure, no problem. So considering I have this big box, it's like awkward. I'm not gonna carry it through the entire mall. So I tried to find a parking spot near Nordstrom. I tried parking for almost 20 minutes. This old man was fighting with me because he was waiting for a spot and the person was leaving the spot, but I was like pinned between him and a car behind me and he wouldn't move up to let me out because he thought that I was gonna take his spot. But then the person trying to get out of the spot, he was in front of that person. So, he got out of the car and like got out of the car, like put his jacket on, like was taking his time and then said to me, you better move because I'm not moving. And so I said to him, sir, where would you like me to move? I'm pinned between you and the car behind me. And he was like, well, tell the car behind you to move. The angry little Aries that I am, I get feisty real quick. The car behind me finally backed up to let me out and I like laid on the horn. And I do not think that you should get into a fight with anyone because people are crazy, but I could not help myself. I, I am very much my dad in this sense where I lose my cool like that sometimes and I lost my cool. And then I called Mike and I just said, Michael, why did why couldn't you just take the shoes out of the box and put them in a nice convenient bag for me so that I could park wherever I so chose to park and could walk through the mall? I know, this is a lot. And I was in a really good mood today. I was in a really good mood. I did a lot of things. I edited my vlog, I uploaded my vlog, I worked out, I walked, I talked to my Aunt Debbie. And now I'm just like feisty. I think I'm also hangry. So I think it's time to bring the food to Donna's and to just go eat because maybe some food will do my brain and my this well. And I'm sitting here in my car vlogging, obviously talking to you guys and everyone keeps walking by staring at me like I'm an alien. I just can't.
I just can't. I really have like nowhere to put you. I'm just balancing you on my steering wheel right now. And you can't even see what it is that I'm wearing, but I'm not wearing any makeup. I just pulled a lip oil out because I was like, I need something hydrating. Like the O faces, the ones that I wore yesterday, the one that I wore yesterday, the red one is like amazing, but I was craving something a little bit more hydrating today. I don't really like this. And I love e.l.f. And you guys know I'm an ambassador. e.l.f. for merit. My God, you know, I love Merit. This is my least favorite thing I've ever tried from Merit. On Natural Tinted Lip Oil. It doesn't last, it's not like a gel, so it doesn't last on my lips, but anyway, I digress. I just needed something. And also I wanted to tell you that we all know the wine fest, whatever it is last night that Mike and I went to was not great, but this was the best thing that I tried. Sangria, Plagido's Winery. I don't know, it's in New Jersey. And I bought it for my mom because my mom loves sangria, but this is the best sangria I've ever had. Very natural tasting. Grape wine with pineapple juice added, 8% alcohol, keep it refrigerated. And it has a drink or freeze by date, which makes me think that it's like more, it's not organic, but like better for you because it can't just like live for a lifetime, you know? And the winery is in Ham Hamilton, New Jersey. All right, let's go. I got a lot of things to carry and I can't carry you. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, I'm a hot mess and no one should ever trust me in a mall. So Michael, if you're watching this, do not ever, well, honestly, it's my fault because I offered to return it for you, but like no one should trust me in a mall, especially when I'm angrily in a mall because I fought with a bunch of people to find a parking spot that's like a mile and a half away, hence why I'm walking. I'm walking to my spot. Um, but never trust me in a mall because I just went and I bought myself a pinky ring, which did I need a ring? Absolutely not. No, I did not. I don't know if you heard me because it was just very windy outside while I was walking. I, I literally had to walk like almost 10 minutes to get to Nordstrom because I don't know what's going on, but it is like so packed. Do you see how red my face is right now? When I am shopping or like spending any kind of money, like I just get really red. I don't know what it is. Like I love shopping, but I hate spending money. It's very weird. It's very weird. But anyway, so I just look at, look at my face. Look at my face. Look at her. I don't know if you heard me, but I went to Nordstrom, returned Mike's shoes, like the sweet little angel wife that I am. I was walking past the David Yurman store, which I didn't even know there was a David Yurman store in the mall. I couldn't help but fall in absolute love with a piece of jewelry that was in the window. And unfortunately they didn't have it in my size. The wonderful saleswoman, Alicia, she was so nice. Honestly, I had the best time. Alicia was so much fun. She like saw how excited I was about all of the jewelry. So she kind of just took me around the whole store and showed me her favorite pieces. And we just had a really good time. And I, I just, I have to say the customer service at the Short Hills Mall, specifically David Yerman, Alicia, YSL with Layla. Like it's just, I've had such great experiences and these people know what they're doing. Came in for the one piece of jewelry. She took me around the whole store. I think I was with her for like 45 minutes. We tried on a bunch of different things from necklaces to earrings to rings. Ended up buying the thing that I went in for the first in the first place. So I don't feel like she thinks that I wasted her time because she was like, I can tell you're having so much fun and I'm enjoying like showing you all the pieces. So in the end, I just felt like she was such a good saleswoman and she treated me so well and I had such a good time and I love what I bought. I just felt like I had to buy it. Also the same thing with my YSL bag. Like when I was hanging out with Layla, like I had such a good time with her. She showed me like a bunch of pieces. We were chit chatting. She like gave me the grace to like take my time. I just feel like customer service goes such a long way and being someone that used to work in retail for like 15 years. Yeah, customer service goes a really long way and kindness and just like enjoying it. Like I love things. I love shopping. When salespeople enjoy the experience with me, it makes me want to buy more. If I didn't just buy myself a YSL bag, I would have bought like two things from Alicia because I just had such a good time with her. And I found two pieces that I really liked, but I settled for the one because I just felt like it was meant to be. I will show you in my next vlog what it looks like. I wanted to show you the bag of the day because we talk about bags a lot here. I took this one out because I felt like it went with my outfit, just a little brown vibes. I bought this on Poshmark. This is a Gucci D ring. I think it's vintage. Also, my brother gave me, well, Mike got rid of a bunch of his iWatch bands because he got a new iWatch and he gave them to me to give to my brother. And then I've been watching Alana Davison. She's like very into fitness and 
sometimes I want to wear like a nicer watch or I want to wear a bracelet and I don't want to wear my Apple watch, but I'm so addicted and committed to my steps and my heart rate and all that kind of stuff. So like I want to wear my Apple watch, but I want to wear my nice watch or a bracelet. Alana said to put it on your ankle. So yes, it looks like I'm on house arrest, but when I went to my mom's, I asked my brother if he had any of Mike's watch bands that didn't fit him or he didn't wear and he said that this one was too tight on him. So I took it tomorrow. I want to wear this shirt again because why not? And I'm going to wear it with these like pinstripe gray pants. I feel like that would be cute with honestly this belt. So recycle, repurpose, reuse. Like a casual Monday vibe. These are like loose fitting pants. Very comfortable, especially because surprise, I'm PMSing. And then Tuesday is going to be a little chillier. So I figured I'll wear these kind of like olive pants with this camel sweater. And I just leave it like this so that it's easy to go in the morning and then put this blazer over top, this little crop blazer. So we got a little like cream olive colors going on. I don't know what else we're gonna get into tonight. Mike cooked like so much food, I'm so excited. We're gonna have pasta and meatballs. He made chicken cutlets, like all of my favorite foods. Mike is such a good chef and I try, I try. It's just, I'm not as good. I'm not good at cooking the meats. A, a pasta, I could cook a pasta. A good pasta sauce, I, I like to pride myself in that. I'm not really good at the chicken, the meatballs. It's not my forte. So anywho, all right, I need to decompress. It is, but see, I keep trying to look at what time it is and I don't know because I'm not wearing a watch. So I have to keep checking my ankle and this is my bad hip. So I don't think that this was well thought out. It's 6.45, I need to decompress. I'm gonna go spend some time with my husband. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for spending the weekend with me. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. What did you do this weekend? I would love to hear. And make sure to hit that little bell button next to subscribe if you would like to see the little something that I bought myself in my next vlog. Like I said, I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah. Cheers. Cheers. So you can hear me on the audio. Normally I cut the audio out because we both got the Sunday scaries. Mm. And no one's happy to be here. Mm. I like little chickens. Mm, they're good. Yummy.